Dear students, now I am going to discuss about hypersensitivity or allergy. The what is allergy? What are the causes of allergy and types of allergy? So you know all in uh, my uh, previous classes, immunity. Immunity is the one the resistance offered by the body against the foreign invaders. Immunity is helping the body to overcome infectious agents and toxins. We are living healthy by the virtue of our immune system. It protects the body from harmful substances, germs and cells that make us ill. So all these we have discussed in my previous classes and videos. So, so far you have studied all immune responses they are fight against the foreign invaders and you know um, uh, keeping us healthy here some re immune responses are sometimes injurious to the body leading to the tissue damage disease or even death sometimes so this is what hypersensitivity that is hypersensitivity is increased reactivity by the body to an antigen to which it has been previously exposed such as allergen. Hypersensitivity is often used as a synonym for allergy. So, so many times we uh, say allergy that is nothing but hypersensitivity or overreaction of the immune system for a particular allergen. Okay. So, this uh, uh, you know the hypersensitivity describes a state of over immune reaction to an antigen. We, uh, uh, we are, uh, commonly we use uh, the term allergy so many times uh, I think I am allergic to morning so you will see in this cotton or else uh, uh, sometimes we say um, such a allergic person so all this uh, we use uh, allergy. But, uh, uh, in terms of uh, medical terminology it is called hypersensitivity. An allergy is an immune system response to any substance that is not typically harmful to the body. Remember allergen is uh, not going to cause any disease, it is not harmful to the body. But the our body, it, uh, the immune system overreacts for this. So, that is uh, causing injury to the tissues and injury or it may bring disease. These substances are called allergens. Allergy term was used originally by one piget to define alerted state of reactivity to an antigen. So, alerted state of reactivity means, so antigen usually a disease causing and it is will be tackled by the immune system. Here antigen is not causing any harmful effect. but it is also the same way the immune system is tackling it. So, this is what you can see it is altered uh, state of reactivity to an antigen. The term allergy is used to mean all immune processes harmful to the host such as hypersensitivity, autoimmunity. So, we discussed little about autoimmunity. So, auto uh, 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 there is a antibodies are produced for the, the antigens of the body itself you know. So, these are uh, uh, we will discuss in detail later what exactly the hypersensitivity and autoimmunity. So, hypersensitivity reactions is the over uh, uh, response of the uh, immune system and uh, it responds abnormally and harming the body including autoimmune disorders and allergies both are the over response of the immune system it is harmful to the body. So, what are the symptoms of the allergy? So, so many times you everyone we have experienced allergic reactions we morning we sneeze and whenever there is a dust we sneeze cough uh, then uh, sometimes you can see some uh, ant bite or, or else uh, some allergy will ap appear a tissue reaction dermatitis. So, all this you can see. So, there is a, a response like uh, coughing, sneezing, 
uh, sometimes uh, some uh, um, uh, uh, you know the vegetables or some uh, uh, you know materials in our diet may we feel the discomfort in our stomach uh, then uh, uh, it may be running nose or is uh, edema swelling in the body or is uh, intense itching uh, dermatitis then you will find uh, uh, there will be uh, rashes on the body then uh, you will find uh, um, lacrimation or else uh, the redness in the eyes and uh, eyes uh, uh, i uh, you know the tear will come so this all the reaction uh, uh, you will find a common reaction or the symptoms of the allergies so allergies so the leading to asthma it is the common thing you can see most uh, you know the the common complaint of allergy is the allergic asthma. So, 30 percent of the Indian population suffers from some form of the allergies. 10 percent of the total world asthma patients are in India. So, then you will think about how uh, uh, you know the uh, allergy is uh, is uh, in the one it is uh, leading to the disease you know the asthma the prevalence of asthma in children varies from 3 to 38 percent in different states allergy occurs when a person immune system reacts to a substance in the environment that are harmless for most of the people so this is what allergens is not a harmful it is harmless to most of the individuals for some individuals it is allergic it causes allergic reaction and harm to the body so these substances are known as allergens allergic asthma the immune system overreacts to the allergens the muscles around the airways tighten that is the the airways in the lungs tighten and the airways themselves become inflamed inflammation and flooded with the thick mucus thick mucus going to block the person uh, uh, you know uh, gasping uh, for the breath or else wheezing we call so these are the symptoms of allergic asthma so what are, all, are allergens so which is causing allergy allergen is any substance or any antigen when eaten or it is uh, taken inside along with our diet or inhaled along with uh, you know it may be the pollen grains uh, fungal spores they are inhaled dust administered sometimes you can see they are injections drugs uh, uh, common allergic reactions you will see the penicillin some drugs are allergic some people are allergic to some drugs so th this is how the body is exposed to the these allergens that cause allergic reactions due to overreactions of immune system dust pollen pet dander that is the the you know the uh, the skin, dead skin cells of the pet animals all are the common allergens household allergens you will find sensitivities vary from one person to another so these allergens allergic to some people and they are not allergic to other people so it varies from this sensitivity hypersensitivity varies from person to person it is possible to be allergic to an extraordinary range of substance so there are so many allergens food allergies some foods like nuts peanuts ground nuts seafood shellfish are the cause of serious allergies in many people major source of allergens in india are the pollen grains pollen grains uh, uh, that is uh, usually in the season february march lot of uh, pollen grains of uh, mangoes and uh, cashew plants or else some other you know that's a blooming period so lot of uh, pollen grains so many uh, people become asthmatic during this season and uh, similarly you will find the fungal spores then uh, uh, you will find uh, some people they have some uh, you know vegetables some people have allergic to brinjal it may cause uh, 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 rashes so some people are uh, you know allergic to insect bite uh, ant bite uh, wasp bite or else honeybee bite uh, dust mite uh, some drugs penicillin and other drugs so it may be you know it may be you or cosmetics what you use or else ointment what you use so many you know there you know it varies from people to people or the pet danders so the dust so all these are the common allergens we 
come across in a daily basis. Allergens when get into the body evoke the production of a antibody class I immunoglobulin class called IgE. Some people have hereditary predisposition to elicit abnormal production of immunoglobulin E in response to some environmental antigens or allergens. So, some people are genetically predisposed, they are allergic, uh, they become quickly allergic to so many uh, substances or uh, you can see there, uh, they, there will be quick reproduction of IgE in their body. So, the antibody IgE uh, is produced for allergens. So, what happens here? This is the common reactions for most of the majority allergic reactions. So, the allergens will get into the body, it will be recognized by antigen produ uh, processing cell, usually macrophage, you know that. Immediately, the uh, the antigen presented on the cell surface will be uh, realized by the, uh, the T helper cells, you know that T helper cells or T lymphocyte helper lymphocytes, they will uh, communicate through the uh, uh, cytokines to B cell. Now, B cell will become plasma cell. So, the plasma cell start producing large number of immunoglobulin E. So, these immunoglobulin E, you have studied this class of immunoglobulin. So, they are going to uh, you know uh, bind or they, they get, get arranged on the, the mast cell. So, when they arrange on the mast cell surface, when this uh, same allergic uh, substance or allergen in subsequent uh, uh, introduction, it is going to form a, a cross linking. The two antibody they cross link with the allergen. This causes the mast cell degranulation. Degranulation means mast cells produce lot of inflammatory mediators such as histamine, uh, prostaglandin, or else um, uh, cytokines. So, then in inflammation reaction, allergic reactions. So, all these are because of this process. So, this is the common allergic reactions what you see. So, the people are genetically predisposed for uh, these allergic reactions. This is called atopy. So, atopic individuals, they are uh, the non parasitic antigen stimulate inappropriate immunoglobulin E production leading to type 1 hypersensitivity. This type of allergic reaction is called type 1 hypersensitivity. Okay. So, it, this is called atopy. So, non parasitic antigen capable of stimulating type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in atopic individuals is called allergen. So, this is the medical terminology for allergen. So, hypersensitivity reaction occur when the normally protective immune sy system responds abnormally and harming the body. Various autoimmune disorders and allergies come under this hypersensitivity reactions. What is the difference between allergy and autoimmune reactions? See here in the allergy is the over reactions of immune uh, system for exogenous substances that is from the outside the body. So, allergens, so the antigens from outside the body whereas, autoimmune disease where you can see the uh, it arises from the abnormal immune responses to endogenous substances or to antigens. So, this is uh, what happens in the, uh, the disease called myasthenia gravis, where you can see the uh, uh, antibodies are produced uh, for acetylcholine receptor. So, immune system cannot recognize the acetylcholine receptor is uh, uh, the molecule of the uh, it is the, the body. So, it uh, produces antibody and leading to this. So, rheumatoid arthritis, so the synovial joints uh, in, uh, the inflammation. So, all these uh, autoimmune diseases, so because of this uh, uh, you know the endogenous substances, the body substances for this uh, immune system produces antibodies. So, thereby there is a overreaction. So, this is called uh, autoimmune diseases. Stages of hypersensitivity or allergy, it there are two stages. One is 
pre exposure that or else you can see the the it is the sensitization first sensitization first exposure uh, initial asymptomatic contact with an antigen so first to enagutte andre first antigen jothe contact agutte so this is what can, happens you can see so the antigen pro, uh, uh, processing cell will contact with the allergen and it process and that leads to uh, the production of uh, immunoglobulin e this is the first sensitization now lot of immunoglobulin e they are arranged on the mast cell so further the second time when this same antigen or allergen is present immediately there is a cross link action so the two antibody uh, ige will hold this antigen it uh, stimulate the uh, you know the mast cell will become degranulation it releases inflammatory cytokines so these inflammatory cytokines histamine all these uh, causing allergic reactions and you will get uh, you will dermatitis allergic dermatitis like this so this is the the second time when this allergen is present the harmful immune responses following sensitization and subsequent antigen contact so this is the the allergic reaction so hypersensitivity is triggered by the interaction of the immune system with an antigen allergen hypersensitivity diseases are commonly classified according to the type of immune response and mechanism of tissue injury both humoral and cell mediated immunity is uh, found in hypersensitivity related diseases so hypersensitivity is classified into four types so this is the classification of the coombs and gel type 1 this is what i explained so it is uh, immunoglobulin e mediated mechanism and it is uh, by uh, it causing hay fever dermatitis allergic asthma uh, then uh, hives so there is a uh, dermatitis is a kind of dermatitis eczema this also a kind of dermatitis skin rashes and all you know so, so redness on the skin and all this so all these are type 1 then what is the type 2 type 2 is mediated by immunoglobulin g and immunoglobulin m mediated this is antibody dependent you can see the the cytotoxicity or complement activation you will find here so it is the the blood transfusion reaction if a person receives the blood from the b person it is immediately there is antigen antibody reaction so that leading to tr blood transfusion reaction or else the rh positive person marries rh negative woman so the developing child so it is it will be naturally rh positive is a dominant character so rh positive only so there is in the the there is a uh, antigen antibody reaction that occurs in the the fetal blood leading to the death of the fetus abortions and all so this is called erythroblastosis fetalis so all these are type 2 uh, you know hypersensitivity type 3 hypersensitivity all autoimmune diseases what we discussed so it is arthritis reaction uh, then uh, uh, this is the farmer's lung this is because of fungal uh, you know the allergens serum sickness so that that is the antigen from uh, the uh, other than human body that is the serum sickness rheumatoid arthritis you can see that uh, Uh, synovial joints the synovial fluid and uh, you can see the the antibodies are produced that relate leading to inflammation and necrotizing vesiculitis so so many autoimmune diseases all these come under type 3 it is because of immune complex mediated antigen antibody complex going to form that leading to these diseases type 4 is different types it is not like this all these are it is uh, you can see the in a very short time you will see the allergic reaction this is the delayed response and all these are antibody mediated whereas this is t helper cell uh, mediated and uh, it releases cytokines and uh, this is uh, contact dermatitis this is a common so many are allergic to so many uh, dishwashing uh, solutions or else phenyls 
or else uh, you know the soaps detergents all these are contact dermatitis or else uh, occupational uh, exposure to some uh, chemicals and all you will find so then uh, uh, these are graft re rejections so, you know transplant rejections all these are because of this type 4 uh, you know hypersensitivity so this uh, Uh, the again the class the four class of uh, hypersensitivity class one are uh, class type one type two type three and type four and type one IgE mediated immunoglobulin E mediated where you can see mast cells and basophils they produce histamines or else uh, you can see the inflammatory mediators which is uh, going to bring uh, you know the allergic reactions type two IgM IgG mediated it uh, Uh, you know uh, this uh, antibodies uh, uh, you know uh, binding to the the antigen and uh, which is causing uh, uh, activation of the complement system and phagocytosis it is uh, by the uh, natural killer cell or neutrophils they release uh, reactive oxygen species or free radicals and uh, bring uh, tissue injury then uh, type 3 is autoimmune uh, diseases all so it is immune complex re, uh, reactions where igg bind to the antigen allergen and uh, it uh, the, the immune complex will be uh, leading to the autoimmune diseases so where you can see the the complement system is activated and the neutrophils brings these phagocytosis causing the tissue injury all these are antibody mediated hypersensitivity and manifest within a minutes or hour so it is a quickly uh, this response you will find whereas type 4 delayed response so it is antigen processing cell they are uh, you can see the they release the cytokines and uh, uh, it bring uh, you know tissue injury the similarly or else uh, it is cytotoxicity induced by t8 cell or t4 cell so this is what you can see delayed manifestation so this is uh, how the ige mediated uh, you can see the uh, this is the the flow chart how exactly allergen first time then b cell uh, t cell recognize b cell plasma cell ige produ produced and when the second exposure these ige will bring a cross linking of the allergen mast cell degranulation leading to dermatitis or else allergic asthma uh, bronchitis so it is blocking the airways so these are the list you will be able to see the common allergens drugs or else uh, you can see the uh this insect bite so then what is the symptoms that is uh, the disease symptoms so then uh, 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 these are the uh, what type of uh, the uh, you can see the responses all these you will be able to study from this uh, table so then uh, the type 2 you will find blood transfusion reaction it causes agglutination when the a person receives the blood from the b person it is the the b per, b antigen is a, a foreign antigen for the a person so there is a agglutination of the rbcs and leading to transfusion reaction it, this will be immediately uh, uh, you know the all the immune cells the you can see the uh, neutrophils uh, eosinophils uh, macrophage all these they recognize uh, these uh, agglutinated or clumped uh, you know the cells and they bring uh, cytotoxic reactions so that's why it is called antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity so cytotoxicity phagocytosis or else uh, you can see the uh, complement system activation so this is the the R rh positive person marries rh negative then the baby will be rh positive this uh, antigen antibody reaction that leading to erythroblastosis fetalysis so this is a uh, autoimmune disease there is a the antigen antibody complex going to form that will be recognized by the uh, you know immune cells they releases uh, you know the enzymes or cytokines that bring uh, phagocytosis so the this is the fourth type where you can see here in the fourth type it is uh, uh, t lymphocytes and it brings activated uh, cytokines and activated uh, macrophage it brings the granuloma formation 
So the granuloma is the this one. So contact dermatitis when you use a detergent. So contact uh, you know erythema. Erythema sometimes you know you exposed to some uh, new chemicals, cosmetics, uh, sudden reaction you will find. These are called contact dermatitis. So parthenium sometimes you exposed to parthenium. Some people are allergic to parthenium. All these are four. Uh, the type 4 sensitivity uh, hypersensitivity contact dermatitis so the anaphylaxis what exactly anaphylaxis it is the type 1 hypersensitivity it is severe allergic reaction so sometimes it is not all the time so uh, uh, the sometimes some people some allergens may cause hyper reactions or a severe reactions a serious condition that may lead to death of the person so sometimes uh, some insect bite like wasp or else uh, sometimes if uh, uh, there is a uh, without a test do dose the person gets penicillin if he is allergic to the penicillin this reaction will occur the symptoms usually involve more than one organ system so that's why it will be very severe anaphylaxis must be treated right away to provide the best chance of improvement so the person will feel something very awful is uh, about to happen so immediately he has to rush to the hospital so that uh, the life will be saved so this is about the the anaphylaxis then uh, students how to avoid we have to avoid allergens so we have to take care properly uh, if you are allergic to so we have to note down which are the substances are allergic our body and we have to take care of our body and uh, we should not uh, uh, suffer with these uh, allergic reactions. So allergic asthma is the one which is the, the common uh, phenomena. So we get from our pets or else uh, from uh, automobile uh, emissions or else uh, sometimes cold weather morning so sneezing. So then uh, uh, you can see it may be due to diet. So we have to find out uh, why we are getting allergic asthma and we should be careful about all this. Thank you.